Quarter num final number three is over with, and we know our third of the four semi finalists as England managed to progress, beating Fiji 30 points to 24. Um, now, I don't think that was a true reflection of the game. I think Fiji. I mean, England. Fair play to them. They did. They did well when um, to capitalise. But I think Fiji can go home feeling hard done by. I'm not one to moan about stuff like that, but I want to get it out before I really talk about the game that I think the referee had two completely different ideas on what the breakdown was for each team. I feel like England were coming in off their feet and diving in from the side basically every second rock and got nothing. Whereas if Fiji, if a foot came round the wrong side when he was coming in, he'd get pinged. But never mind, can't do anything about it, we move. Um, it was actually a fairly entertaining game. Um, you know, a couple of... As Manu Tuolangi scored 14th minute. Um, just bounced a tackle, spun round, managed to pop it in the corner. Decent level try. Um, I'm trying to remember Joe Marchant's try now. Um, my phone's going off like mad. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, um Joe Marchant scored as well. That was when he just kind of went through the gap, just battered through, wasn't it? Um, Owen Farrell managed to convert that try plus a couple of penalties before what was a glorious dummy by Edinburgh's own Bill Matter. Um, and he just slid through the gap and went un in under the sticks. A um, couple, a penalty from Lamani. Couple more from Farrell. Made it twenty one ten to England at half time. So England looking quite comfortable, although I felt that Fiji took a bit to get up to steam. But once they got going, as you'll see um, in a bit, they got going properly. Um, Farrell, uh, Farrell got a a penalty slightly early on in the second half to put it. 24-10 and you're thinking England are going to start to run away with it until two fairly rapid fire tries from Pe Penny Ravi and Vil Vilmone Botu um, brought Fiji right back up in level um, both converted by Kururo Roli probably absolutely butchered that made it 24 all with 10 minutes to go what an entertaining game until Owen Farrell kicked a drop goal and a penalty to make it 30 points to 24, which I've got obviously, as you know, is how it finished. And again, similar to the Ireland New Zealand game, Fiji chasing the game had a massive run of light, um, massive run of phases, um, even a penalty or two, but just England got over the ball and managed to turn it over and game over. Um, so, yeah, England beat Fiji. So we do actually have a Tier 2 team in the quarterfinals of the World... semi-finals of the World Cup, which is always good to see the sl smaller nations getting represented. Um, but... Yeah. Um, from an England point of view, it was a better performance from them, but it still wasn't good. England, they've not played well at World Cup. They've just managed to, they've won dirt, they've won dirty against small teams. And I'm not not because I'm cheating when I say dirty. I just mean you know winning dirty, you know, managing to get up and tough. Not nothing really that flashy or that great play. Just back to basics, winning that way against smaller teams, and that's really all they've done. Um, you know, I've got a feeling that. France or South Africa next weekend, whoever it is, that semi-final's coming up in a couple hours, what a game that'll, that'll be, will absolutely tear them apart. Um, yeah. 
I, I, I do feel for Fiji a little bit because I think that they did deserve that. But anyway, um, a couple other notes. What was it? Marcus Smith does not work at 15. <laughs> I, d I don't think you need me to say it, but oh my god, was he getting absolutely. He's not. He's, he's just not big enough for 15. I don't think he's good enough, but he's not big enough. Um, you know, he was getting absolutely killed. I don't know how he didn't stay off for an HIA. He had about four different times he was bleeding from different places in his head. He changed shirt about three times because of blood all over it. Um, which is why you don't play in white. Because <laughs> the blood and mud gets all over you. Um, but, yeah. Oh. A shaky England onto the semi finals. Um, fair play to England. They, they they did what they needed to do. They they got down, got dirty and managed to win it, but I'd I'd be incredibly shocked if they make it much further because all of the teams that are left are just that much better than them. Let me know what you thought of the game, if you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, if you have an England supporter who's absolutely outraged at what I just said, or you're a Fijian supporter who agreed with me, or you're a random South African who just wants to chat about the game because they're trying to um, calm their nerves about the game ahead. I don't care, everyone's welcome. Let me know. Um, and I will say if you enjoyed the video please subscribe like all that good stuff and until next time I will see you legends later